So let's work through an example of how to calculate economic order quantity, which is the order size when we go out and replenish the inventory because it gets too low. And we can use the EOQ, economic order quantity model, when we have continuous constant demand and we replenish the inventory when it gets down to zero. So that's a commodity type of item. So what we need to know is the demand for the year, our holding costs, and our cost to order. So if we know the demand for the year, let's just say we're selling uh, industrial soap in a can. We don't sell a lot of these. They're, they come in large tubs. We sell them in a hardware store. And the demand over the year is pretty even, constant. And about 300 of these are going to be sold based on the demand. So there's 300 cans, large cans of industrial soap, will be sold during the year. It doesn't cost very much to store this. We have a little bit of shelf space. There's a little bit of hazard just to how we want to handle this. We shrink wrap it. We make sure we inspect it once in a while. But all the storage cost per unit is about 75 cents per unit, per can of industrial soap, not very high. But then when we have to place the order, we do have to purchase, we have to fill out this purchase requisition document that the vendor requires, we have to check the price list, and the bookkeeper spends a little bit of time doing that, he has to get on the phone, the bookkeeper's cost is maybe $20 per hour, they spend 30 minutes on it. So we add all those costs up and we say that that's basically going to take fifty dollars to place one order to replenish these cans of industrial soap that we sell in the hardware store so then once we know these three variables the demand holding cost and order cost then we can plug that into this EOQ economic order quantity model square root of two times the demand times the order cost divided by the whole cost. So if you work out this calculation, it comes up to 200. 200. So the order size, so when we go out and we, we replenish these industrial cans of soap, we will place an order for 200 cans. That's a rather large order, but the reason the order is rather large is because it really doesn't cost very much for us to keep it on the shelf. So because our holding costs are low, we're going to place a rather large order, and this is the size of the order. And then we can just take this information, if we want to, and plug it into the formulas to calculate the holding or storage cost, 200, okay, order size, divided by 2, times 75 cents, holding cost, that's $75. Order cost is we demand 300 during the year, 200 is the order size, so this is the number of orders we're going to place during the year. So number of orders times $50 per order is $75. Those added up is $150 total inventory cost, holding and storage, uh, holding storage costs and order costs. And this is the economic order quantity model to help you manage and figure out what should your order size be. Now, a good question would be, well, my inventory fluctuates. I'm not sure what, you know, I can't really figure that out. What I would recommend that you do is figure out what your holding cost is and your order cost. You should be able to measure these two. How much does it cost to store and hold inventory? And what does it cost? What's the time and the expense to actually place the order? So you should be able to figure these out. And once you figure these out, then plug in, set up a table, a table, and put in different ranges of the order quantity, maybe 50, 100, 250, 300, 350. Plug that in the top, plug these into your formula, and see where you kind of minimize this number. Okay? So if you're not sure about how to do this, at least set up a table with these in it 
and punch in different ranges of this order quantity to try to minimize this number, okay? And in Microsoft Excel, you can actually use this thing called a solver to actually optimize this. So this, is, this class is not going to deal with Microsoft Excel, but I would recommend if you know someone who does know how to use Microsoft Excel, have them set up a table, optimize it for you, and help you figure out how to lower these costs. Measure them and lower them, and that's part of how we want to control and manage inventory.